right, now that we're all set up, I have pulled my colors from my palette over here. These are the ones that I feel like I'm gonna use from here. I am working upside down. I know to you it looks right side up, but to me it looks upside down. And um, that way we remove the analytical process of our brain saying, I know that this is a sailboat. Well, to me, it is no longer a sailboat because first it's blurred out so that I can see just the highlights and the shadows. Second, um, these are just shapes within here. So when I start up here, I grab one of my oil pastels. I'm gonna grab the gray here and I look inside and I say right here, there's a bit of gray and I'm using the side of it. It's another reason that we broke them all in half. You know, when we were in kindergarten, it was like, oh my gosh, my crayon broke. Nobody liked that. We all liked nice, fresh crayons. But the thing was, is actually they work better when you can hear, I'm, I'm trying to talk to y'all and focus and look here. This cross is here. So this line comes out in here. There's a grayish spot right in here. There's a grayish spot over in here. There's some blue gray in here, so I am going to mix that. The other way to dull blue out would be to use some the opposite color, the orange. I did layer some orange over this blue, and you'll see what happens in a little bit here. Um, so this one needs to be a little darker. I'm gonna add a smidge of black, but I do see some violet in there also. I don't know if you can see the colors as well as I can from the video. Um, over here. Now I'm going to grab, oh, which color is closer? I'm going to say maybe this one. And I start right here at my rule of thirds, and this comes on an angle over here, and then this crosses, and it crosses right underneath here on this rule of thirds. And again, I keep using the edge of these. So the this is one reason why we broke these in half, so that we could get this first layer done. But also, later on, when we go to put these away, I know where they go and I can keep everything in order. So here, I'm going to come up and around. Where's my gray again? I'm going to grab that gray. I know there's a little gray splotch dot looking thing right here. There's another one right here. And then there's one that comes up to here. So all you're doing is looking at these basic shapes. I'm not, again, I'm not thinking of this as a sailboat. I'm thinking of these as just basic shapes and where these shapes are. Here's like a U shape right here and it comes up into this, you know, this grid part, the rule of thirds that I drew. My eyes are constantly coming up to this image so that I can see where everything is at. There is a smidgen of yellow kind of right over near that intersection. Right up in here, we have this gray part that comes into here and it comes over. And this looks like it comes right up to the middle of this rule of thirds. So I know that this is gonna come over here. And remember, this is, you know, it's art, it's not necessarily, it's not a science. This isn't a whole mathematical equation of where, of perfection. I, you know, we're not looking for per perfection. We're just looking for placement of colors and objects. I should say colors and shapes. And look at that, there is a smidge of like a purple outline over here. Now here comes the cool part. I love this part, you take the resin gel. And this is when you blend all of these colors together. It's like an emulsifier. Soap emulsifies, so it breaks down that oil. So many kids in the past say, oh, it's so satisfying. to be able to watch those colors blend. The key is to not use, what you don't wanna be doing is using a ton of this gel that is so, it's not necessary. So keep a paper towel on hand. I'm gonna wipe this off because it's too much. The other thing you can use are baby wipes. If you have baby wipes around the house right now, um, 
These clean the oil pastel colors off really well. They clean up the surface area pretty well. Um, those are kind of like magical. Let's put this back over here on my paper towel. I'm gonna grab this and try to blend this blue down into here. So your first layer is really just plotting out all of these colors. And I, you know what, these are pretty dark blue. So I am gonna go back and add the black to it to get these dark shadows in here. And here's this area. Lucky me, I chose a photo with a lot of white. Um, so I am trying to leave these areas blank on the page. I'll go back in later with my white oil pastel and get those blended. But for right now, let's blend this down in here. Now remember, I did use some gray to make this blue down here a little dull. But I did add orange to it over here to dull it out. And if you've seen my watercolor paintings for the sixth graders, you'll see that the opposite, when you add the opposite color, it creates, it dulls it out. So I want this to be a little deeper and darker, so I grab that other blue, add that in here. It's a little too blue-green, so I am going to add the black in there to deepen it up. Maybe I can try this blue. But you can go color over color, and that's the whole point of this. What we're doing is really creating um, an under, it's called an underpainting. And you're building up the surface. Yeah, this is a good color. I do need that purple again, because I do see some purple down in here. I don't know why yet. It's just the way it printed, and that's okay. This is our first layer. We're building up surfaces. Get my baby wipe. And I think we're on, oh, we're on a seven minute video right now. So I am going to pause. I am going to work on this a little bit more on my own before I come back with um, some more video. Because this is going, you know, these layers take some time to create. This is not instant. There's a lot of focus. And maybe I am gonna get that white out right now. There we go. Because this white comes over into here, comes down into here, but this one is blended with a little bit more gray. I know, I said I was gonna stop the video, but I don't wanna lose my spot on my surface. I can steal some blue from over here and add some of the blue into here. This seems to be a bit more brown. So I am going to actually bring, but the brown is a little orangey. Oh, no, that actually looks good right in here. Here's my rule of thirds. I'm gonna come up into here and make it darker down into here. I actually see somewhat of an orange tone in there also. So I am gonna come down along here with some orange. And again, with that resin gel, everything, all those colors just kind of blend and melt right together. This comes this way. It's a little darker in here. Here's that other blue I was using that I pulled. Blend that. But this is how you use that resin gel. It's to blend. When I was having some technical difficulties, I contacted um, the, the woman, Carol Zach. And Carol's the one who taught a class at the DuPage County Institute on this when I first learned how to do this. And um, I said, I reached out and I said, Carol, I'm having some hard times with the internet right now. Can you, do you have anything posted? And she says, no, I don't, but I do have 
she did have a ton of resources available. So I'm going to post those articles that um, Ms. Zach shared with me as well. So make sure you're looking for those. All right. So again, using the side, blending, building up this surface. I forgot to turn the music on the whole time, or maybe the music. All right, next time we come back, we'll have the music. Here we go. All right, I love all these colors in here. Again, a little more violet gray. Come down here, maybe a little darker. So just keep working your way around. I just grab some on my finger, you know, I just grab a little bit, put the black on my finger, blend that in here, bring this up here. Here we go, make sure it's placed correctly. And again, we're gonna keep moving right along here. That turned green with the yellow and the orange. try layering different colors. I mean, it's not, again, it's not that exact science. And actually this starts further down than the rule of thirds. So I know I've got that angle a little off. There we are. This comes over and around. Some darkness in here. I'm gonna grab another baby wipe here, clean my fingers off because I do wanna get some of that white in there now. I'm gonna wipe some of that resin gel off too. So this is the secret, these are the secrets and these are how I make, um, this is how I make all of my commission pieces. So you are more than welcome to go out and post yours online when you're done. All right, blue off the bait. I'm telling you, these baby wipes, awesome. Um, white, I need a fresh white because this comes around here. Hopefully I can still erase this. There we go. And if it does get a little color in the white area, no one's concerned. There we go. Although there is no white in here, so I'm gonna to need to relook at this. So I'm gonna continue on with this layer and I will be back um, later with the second layer once I finish this first layer.